G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Engineering in Space Pirates and Zombies 2, and I am your host, Vastima. With my second playthrough of Space Pirates and Zombies 2 at an end, I'm going to be designing and testing some ships just for the fun of it. So, let's get to it. Okie dokie, we are going to try and get a little bit more mileage out of the Gander Spine. Now, first things first is, of course, as always, uh, Defender Hangers and Flak Batteries. So, we're going to put a nose here and an engine here with a Defender Hanger on each. So, that will give us 16 Defender Drones. Now we're going to do something a little bit different for the flat cannons. We're actually going to put the flat cannons inside the design. So we're going to put these two grinders here because, as I mentioned during the campaign, the grinders are uh, higher than the subcore blocks. So we're going to stick them there. And then, of course, we need... Well, we don't need, but what we're going to do is, since the sides are seven long, we are going to put some miniguns on for the first time in ages. And since we have these two nose pieces here, again, more miniguns. So, so far we have four miniguns, uh, four uh flat cannons two on each of these grinders and two defender hangers which gives us 16 defender drones now what is our main weaponry going to be plasma discharges lots of plasma discharges so let's put on these two engines and let's put on some wings and we want to put another one inside there and one inside here and of course here and here now that gives us a grand total of eight plasma discharges two on the outside here and here one on the inside on the left and right and two on the back on the engines so, all up, that gives us four flat cannons, four miniguns, uh, two defender hangers with 16 defender drones, and eight plasma discharges. So, let's have a look at my beautiful girl here. She looks quite interesting. And before we take her out for a test run, what I'm going to do is check the uh, field of fire with those flat cannons. We can't actually do it with the flat cannons. So I'm going to have to switch them out temporarily uh, to test them. So here we are with a um, particle hose on each of the grinders to test out the field of fire. We will zoom out and we will check it out. Okay, now what about close to the ship? Okay, let us check it in 3D view. Okay, so the left one should cut out somewhere. Oh, no. Okay, so... Apart from really close up, um, the flat cannon should have an excellent um, field of fire. And, of course, the flat cannons usually fire, you know, about 400... Uh, units out 400 whatever whatever the spatial distance is we'll just call it 400 um, which means that's about what say out here somewhere and it makes it a little bit difficult to test <laughs> when we are out of capacitor juice but it means that it should be doing flak bursts out here somewhere um, so I should have pretty much total coverage but uh, just to be on the safe side, we will be testing it out in battle. Well, what am I saying on the safe side? This will never be used uh, in the campaign because the campaign is finished. So, what I'll do now is switch those P-90 
pieces back to the original flat cannons and then we'll go hunting for a target. Okay, first up, let us test ourselves against a high level bandit. Unfortunately, this is the highest level threat I can find. 71 with 7 strike craft. I can't imagine I'm going to have much trouble with this guy. But nevertheless, let's check him out. Okay, and best of all, it's one on one. Nobody has come to interfere. And let's see how we cope with the strike craft as well as him. And holy shit, there goes your shields. Okay, so I am losing capacitor juice quite quickly. So that will be something I would have to uh, keep in mind if I was using this for reals. Holy shit. I just annihilated the crap out of that guy. Okay, so as you can see... I quickly ran out of capacitor juice, and without capacitor juice, uh, my shield is coming down quite quickly. Spin around, finish these strike craft. And yeah, as you can see, one of the primary problems with uh, plasma discharges is if you're not being chased by the strike craft because they're jinking around. Um, it can be quite easy to miss them, especially at uh, long range, at the maximum range of 600. We gonna get any... Ooh, yeah, we got a few hits in there. And... Excellent, yep, yeah, not too bad at close range. Now, let's find ourselves another target to test myself upon. Next up, we will be facing what I believe is the highest level zombie in the game, uh, with a threat of 133. Ooh, actually, let's check this guy just next to him. Uh, level 115, but threat 144. Frankie versus this guy. No, even though his threat is a little lower... His additional uh, levels should give him quite a few extra bonuses. So, let's go against him. Plus, he has 11 strike craft. So, let's give this a go. Okay. Now, of course, our two choices are maintain our distance or go in hard with guns right at the start. Let's go in fairly hard. We will pop the... Uh, primary target indicator thingy on top of him and come on before I run out of capacitor juice Ooh, yeah good shots good shots in fact enough to knock out his shields completely okay let's just spin away while we recover I tell you what this has got really good turning speed it could be because I didn't buy any parts that weren't at least two stars, but uh, yeah, this thing is fast, it is agile, come on, oh god, that just minced him, holy fuckamoly, and now what we got to do is deal with the strike craft. And as we established in the fight versus the pirate, it's... Oh, damn, I was about to say it's better to be closer than not, but it's better to have capacitor juice when you do so. Okay, there we go. Um, tell you what, what I might do is I might turn off my guns until I can get close to these pricks. So, let's spin back around and... Here we go. Okay, come on, hit this guy. And he's gone. Excellent. Okay, so is this it? Just this last little lonely guy. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Let's spin this around. And I think I missed with almost all of that. But it doesn't matter because... Actually, nope. Failed with that shot as well. Well, that entire salvo. 
Ooh, boom, and they are dead. Last but not least is a fight with one of the faction leaders. Uh, the Drifter, level 131, threat 153. And I actually just learned something. If one of the faction leaders puts a bounty, well, I assume if anybody puts a bounty on you and then later becomes friendly with you, you can simply ask them to remove the bounty rather than dueling them. Interesting. So we won't be able to duel him. We will just have to simply fight him. And is anybody coming to interfere? No, it looks like it is still going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Excuse me. A one-on-one -on -one fight regardless. And infected signals. So not quite a one-on-one -on -one fight then. Let's spin away a bit. And deal with these infected asteroids. And that will, of course, force the uh, enemy strike craft to chase me. Which means if they are chasing me from the stern, I will be able to get some excellent shots on their bow as they come straight on. Come on, recharge, recharge, recharge. And that should go straight through that. Yes, excellent. Now, ooh, okay, took out his shields, but as you saw, when they're alongside you, there is no guarantee that you will hit them. But when they are chasing from the back, it is pretty much death every single time. Okay, but motherships, on the other hand, are massive targets. And I don't see me missing this guy. Ooh, he changed vector, and I did miss him quite a bit. Oh, damn, did you see all that damage that time, though? Okay, so we still have one enemy strike craft and the mothership itself. I did, however, take a bit of a pounding to my shields that time. Let's spin it around. And... Okay, I must have blew off a wing without noticing and oh he just went straight into all of that garbage nasty and okay he is changing direction to match my direction so it's making it harder to hit him so instead let's just maintain our speed and distance and oh my god did you see that he just went from about three quarters health to nothing in seconds. And now, of course, what we're going to do is let our capacitor recharge. And, as always, let this prick chase my ass. And as he comes towards me... Come on, come towards me. Straight on. Straight on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Stop confusing my guns. And... Damn, he turned again. Oh, I thought that was going to be a good one that time. Come on. Seriously, there is one strike craft left in the battle zone. I'll stuff this. I am going to turn around and try and get one of those ultra close by the side shots. Come on. Oh no. He decided to turn and slow down and shit. Oh come on. Okay, so Strikecraft are uh, annoying. Ooh, 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 yeah, that time we got him. He just walked straight into all that shit. I get the feeling he was touched by Moronicus. And we're done. So, after extended testing against a pirate, a zombie, and a faction leader, I gotta say, this design gets a massive tick of approval. And I am no longer going to... I am no longer going to call any of my ships by animal names. So I'm going to call this the... 
The Plasma Leak. That's what I'm going to call it. The Plasma Leak. And that's that. Give me your thoughts and ideas below and like and subscribe as you will. Until next time, take care of yourselves and most importantly, have a good one.